Hey Orange Theory family, it's Coach Charlie here. Really excited to tell you about today's workout. It is lower body focused and it is also cardio. We're gonna get you to that base, that push and that all out feeling all from home without any of the treadmill or the rowing equipment. It's gonna feel great, you're gonna feel amazing. It's a 41 minute workout targeting the glutes and we've got a little bit of core in there as well. Really love seeing what you're doing. Thanks all for joining us on the St. George's Day live workout, wearing your outfits, that looked amazing. And also well done to Debs, Brandon, and both the Sarahs. I saw that you were out doing something yesterday. Tag us with hashtag Orange Theory at home and hashtag I can, I will with what you're keeping up to. Really look forward to seeing you all again in the studio very soon. Lots of love. <laughs> Time to get started with your dynamic warm up. You've got five movements, one minute of each, one full round. D, you ready to get started? I am, let's do it. All right, we're gonna start things off with one minute of a standing alternating Spider Man. Feet hip width apart, arms extended overhead, squeezing the oblique, making contact between the elbow and knee. An option here, you can reduce your range of motion. Next up, we've got one minute of a sumo squat to stand. Our feet are nice and wide beyond hip width apart, chest nice and tall, bringing our hands down to the ground. From here, pressing through the hands to raise the hips up in the air, straightening out your legs, working those hamstrings. Back to your starting position. Option here, use whatever squat depth you feel most comfortable with. Hands don't necessarily have to come down to the ground. Next up, one minute of a crouching downward facing dog. Starting in a high plank position, pressing through their hands, raising the hips into the air, keeping the legs straight. From here, dropping your knees down, hovering, raising it back up. An option here, reduce the depth as you drop those knees down to the ground. Next up, one minute of an alternating wide mountain climber with a rotation. As you can see, D is rotating to the inside towards that front knee, coming back to our high plank and alternating sides. An option here, you can drop that back knee if you need to. Last but not least, we're gonna come down to the ground. We got one minute of what we're calling a scorpion. Arms extended, those toes are anchored to start things off. We're gonna raise one heel up, rotating, trying to make contact with the opposite hand, really working that T-spine, then switching sides. An option here, reduce the range of motion, trying to reach the hand, find what's available to you. You've got one minute of each movement, let's get warmed up.
This 13 minute interval style block is gonna take you back to the treadmills just like we do in the Orange Theory workout. You're gonna complete these intervals for four rounds. So your first exercise is just a march in place for 30 seconds. The goal is just to get the heart rate moving, get the body warmed up and ready for exercise. From march in place, we're gonna move into a 60 second base effort. Again, getting that heart rate up just slightly and we're gonna do it with jump roping or if you don't have a jump rope, you can mimic jump rope with this movement, making sure our hands are moving as well. From there, we're gonna get uncomfortable into that push effort for 30 seconds. We're gonna do it with speed skaters. So that big lateral movement, crossing the body and elevating the heart rate. Option is to take a big step and drive the knee into the opposite elbow, keeping your core nice and tight. From there, it's time to go all out, very uncomfortable for 30 seconds. We're gonna do it with incline mountain climbers. So your shoulders are over your wrists and you're gonna drive the knee into that elevated surface. We're using a chair here. Think fast, heart rates are up. After 30 seconds, we're gonna take it to a 30 second walking recovery. Remember the goal of this block is to keep moving. So even on that recovery, just take a stroll around your living room. Four rounds for 13 minutes. Let's get to work.
right, time to work those glutes. We've got eight minutes of work here. We're going to start with three rounds of two exercises using the mini bands. D, we're going to go ahead, put on that mini band in the mid band position. Now, when applying this, we want to make sure that we're in a seated position, one foot in at a time, making sure the band lays nice and flat just below the knee. We're going to start things off with 24 total reps of an ISO squat toe tap. Feet start hip width apart to maintain tension, working those hip flexors. As you can see, D is working side to side. How's it feeling? There it is. Chest is nice and tall here. Options, you can always go down to a green band if you need to. Next up, we have 12 reps per side of a standing kickback. Shoulders are nice and tall. We're still maintaining that tension on the band, raising that heel slightly off the ground. A little bit of range goes a long way here. Maintain balance by drawing your belly button to the spine. Options, once again, you can drop down to a green band if you need to. Once you're done with three rounds, you're going to go ahead, take off that band. You still have three exercises that you're going to complete until time is called. We're going to start with 12 reps per side of a curtsy lunge into a knee raise. Feet start hip width apart, stepping behind the front foot, making sure that knee drops just behind the foot. Driving up, bringing the knee just off center to hip height. Options here, you can reduce the depth of your lunge. Next up, this one's going to be a bit of a burner. We're going to start with six reps of a static lunge. So we're going to kickstand one foot back. Our toes are aligned on those two train tracks, chest nice and tall. Six reps, dropping that knee as low to the ground as we can. Once we're done with that final rep, we're going to hold it right there. You've got 12 reps of a pulsing half lunge. Options here, play around with that range of motion if you need to. Last but not least, we're going to get a little powerful to close things out. 12 reps of a jump squat. Feet are hip width apart, shoulders nice and tall. We're getting nice and low, loading up those heels and exploding, getting a little bit of air underneath those toes. An option here, squat into a calf raise. Once again, you're going to repeat those three exercises till time is called. Embrace that burn.
So today you have a strength core block working to strengthen the trunk muscles, which is the foundation of all of your movements here. It's also gonna help you decrease lower back pain. So Julia's gonna go ahead and start on the ground. We're going for a lying hip raise, pressing the heels up towards the ceiling and pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Slow controlled movement on the way back down. Perfect, Julia. Your option here is gonna be to bend the knees just a little bit, same movement, hips just lift a slight bit up and then come right back down. Immediately going into your bicycle. Your bicycle, you're gonna have your hands behind the head, opposite shoulder is gonna reach to the opposite knee as you go through. 90 degree bend, you never want that front knee to come past the hip on the way in. 16 total from there. You're gonna slip onto the side for a side plank hip dip. Pulling those hips up off the ground is gonna be the most important part. A little tiny movement through the hips to drop down and then bring it right back up. Option here, bottom knee can come down to the floor, still keeping that hip up and moving through that oblique, squeezing on the side. Last one, we're gonna turn you all the way onto your stomach, Julia. Hands can come right in front of the face there. Really pinch through those shoulder blades, slight lift up, just like the hips slightly lift up, and then slight on the way back down. Really controlling the movement here, you have eight total. You're gonna do this for two rounds, eight of everything, 16 total on your bicycle.
time to elevate your heart rate and elevate your mood with this next cardio block. It's gonna be a power focus, so we're talking about those peaks and valleys. Now, make sure you're wearing that OT beat heart rate monitor, because we're gonna try to get you into that orange zone. We have a 30 second push, 30 second base, 30 second all out, but we've got three exercises in store for you. Andrew, ready to work? Ready. All right, we got that 30 second push. We're gonna do a standard burpee here. So we're gonna be heavy in those heels, dropping into a squat to bring those hands down, popping those feet into a high plank position, swinging the feet forward, back to our standing position. Now remember, you want this to be a push, that uncomfortable feeling you're used to, so play around with that tempo as long as your form's on point. Now an option here, you can always elevate your hands onto something stable for that standard burpee. Next up, we got 30 seconds of base pace. We're gonna do some jumping jacks here. So we're gonna bring those arms overhead, popping those feet out nice and wide. Here, you wanna focus on breathing. Remember, this is your active recovery because coming up, you got that 30 second all out. Now, this 30 second all out, options of course being that you can step out. Thank you, Ange, for that. Next up, 30 second all out. We're gonna do our high knees. So let's go ahead, rotate, shoulders back. We're gonna get those knees nice and tall. This is gonna simulate that all out sprint that you're accustomed to. Now, as you fatigue, you may need to drop the knees just a little bit lower. You can always go into a jog or a march in place. That's gonna be followed by 30 seconds of rest. We're gonna do that three total times, six minutes of work. Let's get into that orange zone.
awareness We are, we are, we are, we are Time to cool it down. This flexibility block is going to be five minutes of total work. We're going to be using a towel along with a yoga mat here. As you can see, Dee's grabbing the towel. We've got 20 seconds in three different posi positions of a lying hamstring stretch, making sure the lower back's making contact with the ground, shoulders relaxed. Dee's going to extend one leg up with that towel wrapped around. We're going to start with 20 seconds at the midline. Then at the 20 second mark, bring it to the outside of your shoulder, holding that, holding that stretch. Finally, 20 seconds to the inside here. Use your personal range of motion. Use what's available to you here. Then you'll switch sides. Next up, we've got a seated calf stretch coming up to a seated position. We're going to start with that towel still around midfoot, legs fully extended, shoulders tall, raising that heel slightly off the ground, emphasizing the calf. You'll have 20 seconds per side. Next up, 20 seconds per side of a hurdler stretch using that towel. We're going to keep one leg extended, bringing that second foot to the inside of the thigh. Shoulders tall once we've made sure we've held onto the grip, making sure we feel good about where that towel's held. Shoulders tall, really working that hamstring. Lastly, we're going to close things out with 20 seconds of a seated hamstring stretch. For this one, the towel is going to be wrapped around both feet. An added stretch for the lower back, you can always bring the shoulders forward. Or if you want to emphasize the hamstrings a little bit more, bring the shoulders and chest tall and proud. You worked hard today. Enjoy your flexibility block. Yeah.